Let's get right into it then. Right there, I took out the battery and I'm about to start draining the oil, the coolant, and transmission fluid. Doing all the basic little things to be able to get the engine out of the car with the transmission. I asked for some tools because I don't have all the tools, being honest with you. And I'm thankful for everybody that let me use and borrow their tools while I was doing this job. And yeah, separated exhaust from the headers to the pipe. And then in a bit, you're going to see me disconnect the steering column from the rack and pinion. Just asking for some advice. You know, it's, it's, never, it's never a bad thing to ask for advice when you're doing a job and stuff like that. Um, taking out the axles right there, just some, some things to get it going and stuff like that. Uh, if you guys know any good views to, to record this in, I will appreciate it if you could leave it down in the description below, because right there, you could see a little of everything that I was doing but not all of it and yeah right there taking out the axle nut uh, the battery was dead I'm surprised I still took it off you know that that my walking power ain't no joke I'll tell you that for sure <laughs> um yeah struggling with one axle you know one of the axles didn't want to come out, so I just left it in there. Whenever it goes, it goes, and I'll replace it then. But I, I couldn't get to it, so so I left it in. As you saw, some people came over and helped me. And there, there goes a little better of a view. I'm just trying to disconnect the the steering column from the from the rack from the bottom. So what I did was I just left it, uh, took it out right there, yeah, the two bolts it had, the two 12s, and then when I dropped the subframe, it came with it, so I, I did it that way. Um, just checking the little things. So when you... Base, oh, I'm just cutting the power steering line right now because I deleted power steering. I'll have a video up soon comparing a loop power steering rack or a loop rack compared to a um, depowered rack. What's the difference and stuff like that. Right now, it's going. Just loosening the subframe just to make sure everything's ready to go whenever the time comes. Um, and right now I'm just taking out the airbox and disconnecting the wiring harness to make sure everything's ready. You don't realize how big, I at least I didn't realize how big of a job this is. I, I, I knew con like how big, but it didn't really hit me until I had... The engine apart and it was like wow this is for real I took apart my car and and yeah <laughs> this this is for real you gotta 
kind of keep on pushing through it though. Um, as you see, I disconnected. I I'm taking out the Freon two from the AC system, and yeah, gotta keep it going, right? But the next time I do this, I'm going to be a little more organized because being organized really helps you out a lot, especially with like when you're building an engine or and then. Just even having the bolts, trying to put them back where they go so you don't forget where the bolts came from or where they, or, yeah, where they came from and you don't lose them too. Because that's, that's the worst feeling, be like, where did this bolt go to? Oh, shoot. And then you remember, at like, after the build is all done or you did whatever you needed to do and like, wow, that's where it went. <laughs> But, but it happens, so I learned a lot in this, this time, and I'm going to prove it next time. And I'm going to apply the things I learned to the next time I, whenever I do this. I left the camera up, <laughs> took it back, because, oh, shoot, I need that camera. <laughs> um, I'm getting ready to take out, well, disconnect the, the rest of the harness that's underneath the car or the intake manifold I should say and right now I'm getting ready to drop the subframe this subframe was dirty real dirty I'm kinda like wow nah but I cleaned it up everything everything nice and good from when I took it out and then so to make sure it was good on when I put it back in right there I forgot that the mount the side mount where the engine attaches to, um, it had two bolts and then two nuts on the bottom. I took out one of the nuts, but I forgot. I forgot it had more than one. It has two two nuts and two bolts. When you're doing that on on a Matrix or Corolla, just mirror those two, and it will save you a lot of time and a lot of headache. But yeah. Making sure everything's clear so when I lift the shell apart from the engine, uh, nothing would bring, nothing of the wiring or anything would bring the shell down or break. It's always good to have a second hand just there just, just to make sure you got everything because that, that really helps out a lot. You know, just double check yourself. And voila, here comes the engine. You see the power steering pump. Uh, I forgot a bolt for that, you know? It's the little things. Voila, bam, son. And there goes the engine. Yeah. I just, man. I was. Being honest, like I said, this is my first time pulling the engine out of any car, and it it went there. So yeah, like I said, I I took it to clean it because I I wasn't going to put it back into the car all dirty and everything like that. That's just why 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 would you do that? You, you know, but I know the sloppy way you leave everything on, but. I took everything off and then I pressure washed it again. And here's a little walk around with the picky headers and the engine and stuff like that. Just taking away the transmission now. Separating the transmission from the from the engine. Um uh, yeah. Let me know how you like these voiceovers. I, I know this one sounds kinda like uh, different, but like it's just first time doing voiceovers, and it's kind of weird. I, I'm not gonna lie with you, lie to you guys, it's kind of weird, but yeah, let me know how I can improve and, and all of that. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be much appreciated, you know. And voila, get ready for the next video. It's going to have me turn down the engine and putting it back together.
I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.